Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be about Shadow Gale, but before we do that, I want to do like two quick record spins, because why not? Alright, so first one, blue, and Varden. Second one, blue. Disappointing, but maybe next time. Okay, but the video is actually going to be about Shadow Gale. Now, I know that the last Shadow Gale video I made, one, it didn't even have my voice in it, but two, I used Unis, which a lot of people don't have Unis. So, I've put together this team. I just actually got another copy of Hella and Max Soldier Skills, so now I've been using her for Shadow Gale instead. And I find her to be more effective than Unis because she, she grants a buff as well as purifies debuffs. And if she's on Astro Witchcraft, she can do that twice in a turn. And then we've got basically everyone exactly the same, same builds, same all of that, possibly a little bit speedier. I changed up Chloe and Sanders builds a bit. So they are doing relatively more damage. Sanders build is very different, but he hits like a truck now in my opinion so that's pretty good but yeah let's just get into a run i'm gonna skip to the multiplier phase because no one cares about the parts before that so yeah here we go okay so we got through everyone's turns and now we're in the multiplier phase so we're gonna start out with dahlia giving buffs as enough giving the recovery these two both using their a3s then Selene using her second skill, Azanath using her Lotus Mark, and we have three petals by his swipe attack. Then Catherine is going to use her third skill, more recovery from Azanath. More buffs from Celine, more buffs from Dahlia, and then we close it out with that. We didn't proc Astro Witchcraft enough to get a times 18, but this team totally can get times 18. It does it pretty consistently as long as Catherine procs her Astro Witchcraft at least once, which she didn't do. But now we're gonna get our damage in. Three fifty one times sixteen, six million three hundred thousand, which lands us right at EX. And yeah, six point five million in the end. Okay. I know that Hella and Azanath are both Shimmer Four Stars, which are Azanath is gonna be easier to get after the 317 update, but I understand that Catherine is harder to get because she is a Shimmer Four Star, which just so happened to be rarer than regular legendary five stars so something you can use instead is yesahua now i'm gonna put her in place of hella and let me give her some relics really quick okay so this is what i just threw together on the fly for her uh she is going to be running the ocean wave set with an apollo's bow honestly the only part that matters is the ocean waves so she can cycle through her a3 faster Yesahu will also be helpful because she applies an invincibility buff as well as healing, so Azanath doesn't have to do that on her own. And I feel like Yesahu is pretty reasonable to use because she is a 3 star and she's in ripples, at least until the end of 317. Or the end of 316. So let's get into this run, I'm gonna skip to the multiplier phase again, and we'll see how this goes. Okay. So now we're in the multiplier phase. Most things about it are gonna stay exactly the same with the order of turns because Yesahua doesn't alter anything and any AP and neither does Hella really. Hella only does a tiny push on the AP. And we're gonna end with two petals on the first wave.
and we're gonna end with three petals on the second wave. So times eight multiplier. Now we're gonna do the damage. And we're gonna end up with 3.4. So a modest SS tier. And yep, we're gonna end on 3.6 million for SS tier. So I hope one of those two runs was helpful for you. I hope that that brought some more options to the table because I know Unis is not a very accessible Esper for people to use. Honestly, Desolate Lands is the most end game content we have right now other than Infinity Tower. So it's gonna take some working out the kinks to get your teams really working well in Desolate Lands. But I hope that this helped you in some way, shape or form. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'd be happy to try out Espers if you have suggestions. Leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content from my channel, and I will see you next time.